Hi, lovely friend of the internet. Welcome to this new uh, video. Tonight, I'm gonna uh, test and show you uh, the new Nisi um, macro focusing rail that I just bought. But first uh, of all, let me uh, say a huge thank you to my uh, friend uh, B. We are in his uh, studio right now recording this video. Uh, he helped me with the sound. He's a uh, uh, music producer and is actually the one that made uh, the soundtrack of this video which I love and a uh, huge uh, thank you uh, to my friend for that. Let me as well uh, tell you that I'm in no way sponsored by Nisi that I just bought uh, this macro focusing rail like everybody uh, would do. I was looking for uh, this piece of gear for some times now. I have uh, compared and uh, looked for a uh, review on the internet and I fin finally decided to uh, buy this one uh, because first of all it seemed uh, affordable and it seemed uh, good enough for what I was uh, looking uh, for. And what is it? Actually I just wanted something uh, handy, not too big, to uh, make a macro focus stack mostly on the field uh, on uh, uh, plants or insects that I can uh, find uh, there. So I'm not gonna do uh, an unboxing uh, video like uh, the one you could uh, see on the internet because first of all I think uh, people give way too much importance in uh, packaging uh, I don't want to uh, spend my money on it and actually I think if companies were doing less uh, packaging the planet would uh, maybe be uh, better now. So uh, what comes in the box is this uh, little uh, sleeve or this little bag which is actually cool because uh, I'm not sure that uh, this rail uh, loves dirt or dust and it can protect it uh, when you go on the field. So when it comes to uh, the rail itself, it's very uh, well built, it's uh, very heavy, mm, the quality feels uh, very uh, good and I think it's uh, CNC uh, U-Zined uh, and it's uh, basically very solid. So uh, the whole thing um, is uh, 16 centimeter, uh, which is 160 millimeters, of course. And um, the the main um, screw uh, is uh, this one. And something that I think very uh, handy is that the uh, screw has a, a foldable. Uh, thing that you can uh, use to uh, smoothly uh, tie or untie it. When it comes to um, the strongness of this screw, you can as well uh, adjust it uh, with this little screw on the, on the side. And one good thing is that even if, if when it's totally uh, unscrewed, uh, the uh, camera won't move even uh, when you put the rail um, on a vertical position like this. So that's nice. Another feature of this uh, rail is that you can uh, turn the head on 90 degrees like this uh, if you have, uh, for instance, a lens that has a tripod uh, mount uh, directly fixed on it. So that's a good thing uh, as well. This rail uh, comes with uh, tiny metal uh, feet, as you can see, uh, that permits you to uh, put it right on the table or on the ground like that uh, but as you can as you will see uh, later on uh, this video I think that uh, these feet are um, unnecessary and uh, that are maybe a fake uh, good idea. Another uh, good thing on this uh, rail is the uh, screw you have at the other uh, end of this uh, main screw uh, which allows you to uh, fine-tune uh, your setup and the 
uh, depth of uh, the depth of field of your uh, photograph uh, just uh, with this uh, screw here. You can uh, mount this uh, rail directly on your tripod head because it's uh, Arca Swiss um, compatible. Uh, but uh, you can as well, if you prefer, mount it directly on your tripod with this uh, standard uh, screw that, according to um, Nisi website, uh, fits on every um, tripod on the market. It comes as well with a standard uh, Sw Arca Swiss plate, uh, which came very handy in my uh, case because, as you can see, I could directly uh, attach to it my uh, anchor link for my uh, camera straps, uh, which is uh, definitely a good uh, thing, a good point uh, for Nisi on this aspect. Like I told you earlier, uh, we tried as well to uh, put the uh, macro focusing rail directly uh, on a table and uh, as you can see on this uh, quick test, it's kind of difficult to, uh, to be steady uh, on when you are when you are turning the main screw and uh, you are definitely making the whole setup move which is actually uh, not so good when you are trying to uh, shoot for uh, focus stacking you can even make the whole camera uh, fall like um, you can see on this live uh, example which I didn't do on purpose As you can see, we tested this rail uh, with a 2 uh, euros uh, coin. As you can see, it goes very smoothly. There is uh, only few uh, shakes, but I think it's normal when uh, you are at one-to-one uh, -one magnification, like in that case we used for uh, this test. We did this test uh, inside, of course, and uh, after uh, that, I tried uh, something else at home, um, which uh, was just a, a sample image I wanted to, to show you. So uh, as you can see, I had my uh, macro uh, setup and uh, with the plums I just bought as well. So I found uh, outside my house a little uh, branch of holly with uh, some dry uh, leaves for the background. The lightning of the scene was a little bit tricky, so as you can see I used a, a Cobra flash that was uh, remote controlled by my main uh, camera flash uh, and um, I think I got some uh, Christmas mood uh, uh, lightning in this uh, setup. After that uh, I used the um, uh, Nisi uh, focusing macro rail and I actually uh, took 19 uh, shots and uh, merged them, uh, stacked them together uh, using Affinity Photo. Uh, we could uh, do uh, once a video about that if you're interested about it, but uh, it's not the main subject of this video, it was just to show you uh, what uh, could possibly uh, be done uh, with uh, this uh, piece of gear. To sum up, I think uh, the pros of this project are definitely first of all the value for money which is great, the robustness of uh, this rail as well, it's tough, it's uh, well built and uh, it's precise as well, actually it's precise enough for what I needed it for. On the con size, I think these tiny feet are kind of useless because you cannot properly use this rail on a table without using a, a tripod. If you want to know more about the other gears I used for doing this picture or uh, shooting this video, I will um, put them, put the name of them in the 
uh, description of this video and of course uh, the website of uh, Nisi where you can uh, find uh, this um, macro focusing ride we are talking about uh, tonight. Thank you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if it was the case you can give me a thumb up, I would really appreciate it. You can subscribe to this channel if you want to see more, there will be more uh, infield tests, infield uh, shooting session and uh, of course I would uh, love to uh, explain as well uh, the focus uh, stacking method I use uh, with Affinity Photo if you are interested in it, just uh, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye guys.